Hello, 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 everybody. My name is Steve Ford. Welcome to your English lesson. Do you need English for your work? Do you sometimes get nervous when you're speaking to native speakers? Do you feel that sometimes you get stuck? Tongue-tied, you freeze when you want to say something. If this is you, you're not alone. And I hope that with this lesson, you're going to learn some new phrases so that you don't get stuck, you don't get tongue-tied, you don't freeze. And I hope that you remember these phrases for the rest of your life. So let's go. Bring me up to speed. Give me a rundown. Where do we stand? Where are we at? Keep me in the loop. Keep me posted. Everybody on the same page. Let's touch base sometime next week. So the first few phrases that we're going to be talking about today are often asked by someone who is in charge of the team, someone who is a boss, a manager, when they are asking for updates. And this first one is one of my favorite ones. Bring me up to speed. Can you bring me up to speed on the project, for example? This simply means, can you give me an update? Other ways of asking it, where do we stand with the project? Or where are we at with the project? You can use all of these when you're asking for updates and sound like a native speaker. The next one is to praise someone. Good job, well done. Other ways that you can say the same thing or hear the same thing. Great, awesome, well done, congrats, wonderful, fantastic. Just like sometimes we give positive support by praising people, we can also show our sympathy. A general one would be, ah, oh, that's too bad. You could also say, what a shame and what a pity. Just make sure that you note that what a shame is more American and what a pity is more British. You're not going to hear that in these parts if you say what a pity. Asking for a summary, I have a really good one here for you, which is can you give me a rundown? Can you give me a rundown? You could also say can you give me an overview? Can you give me an outline? Now, if you're working with someone and you want to show your support, there are a few phrases that you can use. I'm sure that things will work out. I'm sure that we can fix this. Next, when you're wrapping up a meeting, when you're finishing a meeting, when you're saying goodbye to someone and you want to ask for future updates, keep those updates coming, there are a few ways you can say it too. You could say, keep me in the loop. Keep me posted. Let's touch base. Okay, so now we're going to listen to a model dialogue. Hi, Jason. Hi, Dave. Where are you guys at with the Italian contract? To tell you the truth, I'm not sure we're going to get it. Really? Yeah, it's been a huge letdown for the whole team. I mean, we worked so hard to win these guys over. Well, I'm sure it'll work out. Let me know if there's anything I can do from my end. Actually, I was planning on meeting with them later this week. Well, great. Just let me know when you have a day figured out and I'll see if I can come. Okay, everybody, I hope that this lesson was useful for you to see how you can learn and use new vocabulary at work so that you can boost your self-confidence, so that you can feel more comfortable. That's the most important thing. I will be posting a quiz to remember all of this vocabulary, all of these phrases. If you need private lessons, I teach a lot of business students one-to-one -one, and you can contact me at the link below this video. And I hope to see you in our next lesson. Bye for now.